Hello Rick, here we have stock number Z488713A, it is a 2024 Mazda CX90 in the Preferred Plus trim. Preferred Plus lands right in the middle of the trim level, so it's not fully loaded and it's far from base. It is finished in blue mica metallic and I wish the sun was out because it's a gorgeous color, it sparkles in the sunlight um, this vehicle has just over 10,000 miles and it was purchased new here and recently traded in the owners found the vehicle to be a bit bigger than what they needed so they downsized to a CX-50 walk around I'm trying to see if there's any imperfections to point out to you and I don't see any gouges any dents any dings there's no curb rash on any of the wheels and it appears to be an overall fantastic shape So 10,300 miles. It is an inline six with a mild hybrid powertrain. It is not a plug-in, so you do not have to plug this vehicle in. Regular gas is what Mazda recommends, and it is rated for 25 MPG combined. And I believe it's 28 on the highway. You do get genuine leather seating surfaces, and this leather seems to be in perfect shape. There's no rips, there's no tears. There's no musty odors, there's no evidence of pet hair or smoking. Push button start, of course. The Preferred Plus does give you a wireless charging pad and wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You also get a towing mode on this vehicle. For It's rated for 5,000 pound towing capacity. You do get a heads up display. You can see that zero up there projected into the windscreen. And if you're using the navigation of the car or your phone, it will also be displayed up there in the active driving display, as well as your blind spot monitor and your lane assist. You do have paddle shifters to switch your gears, radar adaptive cruise control, Try climate control. You could actually control the temperature of the rear. So right there, that's the rear. Let's say I want 71 degrees and a little bit more fan speed. You could do that. You also have a thermostat for the driver and the passenger. This is your drive modes. So you could switch through sport, normal, and off-road. The vehicle is rear wheel drive bias, but has the capability of all wheel drive, and it does that automatically. Or you could lock in the off-road mode. You could lock in the all wheel drive by putting it in off-road mode. Uh, rain sensing wipers, so automatic wipers, automatic headlights, automatic high beams, full LED lights, in and out you do have a traditional sunroof and you can still open the glass with the roof bars attached which is pretty nice passenger seat also appears to be in perfect shape I don't see any damage in the interior oops someone left there Tupperware there. 
The vehicle will be thoroughly cleaned down if you do decide to move forward on this particular unit. You do get rear sunshades. Um, this example has the captain's chairs. Rear seats look to be in perfect shape. Again, no evidence of pet hair, no weird odors. Headliner is in fantastic shape as well. Power tailgate, of course. Oh, very nice. So this has the destination package, which gives you the all weather mats for the entire vehicle. And this privacy, cargo privacy, when you're not utilizing the third row. I can do this with one hand here. So pull on these straps. A little tricky with one hand, but there's your third row. You do have USB C ports in the third row as well as the second row. And then back here, you do have a traditional 12 volt. And you can either go through the middle to utilize the third row or by the shoulder it's up and then this will gain access to the third row this is a mid-size suv so it does compete with the likes of the hyundai palisades the chevrolet traverse the honda passport The Toyota Highlander, Grand Highlander. Uh, the mild hybrid train is standard. And Mazda did piggyback from Toyota's hybrid technology. Toyota and Mazda have a interest and we are sharing Toyota's hybrid technology as of now. Absolutely gorgeous. What really sets Mazda apart from our competitors are driving dynamics. So this vehicle is going to feel very much like your CX-5 as far as acceleration, cornering and just general operation is very very smooth with the Mazdas there you have it Rick just a quick preview I will be in touch shortly thank you for watching